Welcome back to what feels like a lifetime since we've last done the Game of Thrones one. So I took a couple of days off because I was pretty unwell, to be honest with you, like really ill. Um, and obviously we had to do, you know, sort of the Patreon update and things like that. Thanks to everybody who's backed on Patreon. That's been huge and actually really unexpected. Thank you for helping keep this channel going, keeping it alive. Now, you might remember we left it off. I asked for people to, to give a name for uh, Piggy the Dragon's son slash daughter. Um... This currently unnamed dragon or Senegon. And I said, we'll do something different. Instead of me picking a random comment, what I would do is I'd pick the most upvoted comment so the community get to, you know, work together on deciding what they want the best name to be. And my exact words when I announced this was, this way, we'll be able to get a cool name rather than just, you know, Steve or whatever. The top voted comment on that video was the name Steve. And I've never been more disappointed in my life. So thank you everybody that voted. Um, Piggy the Dragon's son is going to have to be called Steve now. Because I'm, I'm a man of my word. Oh, they're going to go into the save game to rename it as well. Steve the Dragon, you're already, you're already causing me grief. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> well, there we go. There's Steve or whatever the dragon. The second Herald of Magic. I feel like that's a, a pretty appropriate name for such a powerful, for a powerful creature like that. Speaking of which, that means we only need one more dragon until we actually get Magic 2 return. So ideally, if Piggy or Steve want to lay some more eggs, that'd be pretty ideal. Now obviously we can't hatch them ourselves, but apparently granted it to our 14-year-old son pretty well. I forgot how good this guy was. So, he's our current heir, right, Prince Silvus? Now we didn't have anyone better, did we? Um... He is our heir, and if we go up to our children, yeah, it's only Prince Silvas. He's sort of the first character to not be called Ar Harren or something weird like Odd. So we might actually want to rename this guy. Uh, I think when he gets crowned or whatever, we can take a, a more prestigious name. Something on those lines. That would be, that'd be pretty cool rather than Silvas. Anyway, we've got a lot of work to do. So, oh, yeah, of course, we grabbed Dawn last time. And honestly, I didn't really get much feedback about Vader Essos because everybody was too busy commenting what they wanted the dragon to be called, which clearly went really well. So, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and take out some of Essos? I think we want to take out Essos mainly because, A, there's a holy site in, uh... Is there not a, a holy site in... No, there's not. I'm a liar. I thought it was an, uh, a holy site somewhere in Essos. Either way, I mean, plenty of gold. We could just vassalize them. Um, they'll bring a load of gold. We can send them gifts to try and keep them on side a bit more. I feel like it's a good idea if we take this entire coast. It also gives us a very, very strong defense against the Iron Throne, which is currently 358,000 men. Whereas, comparatively, we're 145,000 men. Oh, God, we're infirm, aren't we? Right. 145,000 men. Which is the weakest of the three cities right now? I'm going to assume it's probably, like, Bravos. How, how strong is Pentos? 19,000. Tyrosh has got to be pretty weak, right? Oh, no, they've got 31,000 men. Ignore me. Myrrh is 10,000 men. So really, it's either Bravos or Mer. Why don't we go for Bravos and just work south? I think we've got more than enough men to do that. So, I like your flag, by the way. The white elephant. That's that's really good. Let's go ahead and uh, raise some troops then. Get them on boats. Oh, shit. We could wait for our armies to reinforce, actually, and get a whole bunch more men. Um, Have you trained troops in the capital? Your best... No, no, no. We'll swap, swap this guy over instead. Now, ideally, we don't need vassal kings, but, you know, we started, so we might as well finish here. Um, we obviously can't hold all of them anyway, because it'd be too difficult to manage all of those vassals, so. Um, yeah, can we get you to like us a little bit more? Send gifts? Give an artifact, maybe? Do you want some gemstones? I'm sure I've got some. No, I haven't. Uh, how about a book? The Measure of Days. No, he doesn't want that. Well, that's fine. You know what? Let's go and invade the East. Uh, so we do want a Dragon Conquest, and they might just surrender immediately if we're lucky. Dragon Conquest of Bravos. Tell me how the Civil Wars work. I'm pretty sure I know. Raise the boats. Raise the troops. Get everybody on board. Is that, is that really everybody we can embark? Oh, God, that doesn't seem very good. Okay, everyone's pike. Excellent. The Vale will stand with us. Thank you, the Vale. They're actually not surrendering. I wonder if the other three cities are going to join in defense of them. No. Okay, weird. Well, let's not worry about that, then. This, this would be probably quite an easy war, I imagine, either way. Um, put those troops down there. Bring you guys up. Just to improve your name, it's been a success. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Pentos has joined... Norvos has joined, Mir has joined, Tycan of Lorath has joined, Tyrosh has joined, Kohor has joined. Either way, once one falls, the rest will fall as well. The bloody gate has been converted to the Gilded Kraken. Is that not in the veil? Weird. Right, so we need a new captain of our fleet. We go for Baron, Lord Reaver of Seastone. We'll send him a gift as well. 
you know, oh god, I think we need to probe a lot of our council again. Well, that's not too bad. It's only our, you know, our whatever this guy is. What was he? Our diplomat, actually. That's fine. Okay. So we don't want to pick these troops on the way. In fact, we could probably have them, you know, go to somewhere a bit more equidistant, like Harrenhal. Let's get you guys on the boats. Let's actually merge the boats together, then get them on the boats. I assume our retinues are among that, because obviously our retinues are our best troops, so we definitely want to take them with us. And get you guys on the boats. We'll send them up to here, just pick up these guys very briefly. Holy shit, Piggy laid another clutch of eggs. If we can hatch them, we've we've done it. We've brought magic back into the world. I think it's it's legitimately that easy. Um, we've almost filled these boats, actually. Let's put you guys down. Uh, I'm well aware I disbanded some in the Iron Throne, though. It doesn't matter too much. Again, all we've really got to do is get to Bravo, siege it down. If they send boats over to us, I think by the time they actually get here, we could have won this war. So, perish these blasphemous fort. Gain the trait Zealous. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll take Zealous. Now, we can't leave troops ourselves, which is a bit of a shame. It means we can't use our dragon in the siege or anything like that. Um, dragon uh, riders are also really, really good troop leaders. So, it's a real shame we're, we're not getting that advantage, but, you know. It's just the cost of being infirm, I guess. All right, here we go. Your dragon piggy is a ravenous beast. He regularly roams the lands of Pike, gorging on the livestock and the small folk. Give them recompense. Fort holding of level 10 or above, really. Right, let's build a, an actual fort in the province of Bravos in that case. Try and mitigate some of this damage that we're going to take, some of this attrition. Um, the Vale are actually sending troops over. Thank you. Okay, fair enough. They have actually landed troops in our capital. So what we really want to do with these troops is move them over... Pick them up on the boats and probably drop them off on the Iron Isles before they siege our capital or at least do some damage to it. Winter fever has broken out in Lordsport. I mean, I don't think that's relevant. Ideally, we'd like to catch that and die, to be honest with you. Oh, God, that's a lot of men. Okay, well, that's good war score for us. Right, on the boats. God, this music's a bit tragic. Normally, I edit in music afterwards, but I'm s just for a bit of difference. I thought I'd uh, leave the best game music on see what we got. This one's pretty scary, though. Oh, shit. We've got to pass through them. Okay, well, what we'll do then is we'll actually go ahead and land the boats next door. Oh, that's a lot of men. Um, Have I bitten off more than I can chew? Maybe. Let's hire some troops. I have plenty of troops. You know what? That should be enough to counterbalance it. Saying that, they're bringing up more troops even now. Look at that. We've got boats from Laura there. Let's let them die off to attrition as well. You want the Kingdom of the Trident? Absolutely not. I'm not falling for that mistake again. On the boats with you guys. Right. Granted the Kingdom of the Trident, I mean, denied? Oh, God. A lot of people want this girl to be King of the Trident. I can't risk that right now, especially not when we're in the middle of the biggest war we've ever fought. So I'm going to let him have that. Especially because he'll like me a bit as well, so that's fine. Merge those troops. Get the best commanders we can here. Do we want to wait for attrition to kill these guys off? Obviously, it's going to kill off our own troops as well, so it's, it's a double-edged sword here. Let's build a fort in our own land. How are we doing with Siege of Bravos? That's a real question. Siege of Bravos, 40%. Siege of the Trade Press of Lordsport, but that's the one we're doing now. Problem solved. Alright. Garrison size, okay, that's fine. Oh god, no, let's attack. I feel like the attrition is going to kill me off us. It's going to kill them because there's more supply in Pike, so let's go ahead and deal with them. We should win this, I think. Yeah, that was dangerous, though. Pretty dangerous. They were never going to be able to siege it down, let's put it that way, but again, it's, it's lots of war score just sat there doing nothing. Give this guy funds. Not today, I need that, thank you. Uh, let's put these boats down in hindsight. Excellent. Thank you. The Trident's actually going to join us in our war. I'd expect just as much, to be honest with you. Right, there we go. Problem solved there. Aereo Idaris was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Sure. Well, these guys are going to reinforce. We might as well leave them there. And our son, Prince Silas, came out of Grey Eminence. Holy shit. Came out Craven as well, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, do you want to give him any more artifacts? Let's take a look. What have we got that we don't really want? Engraved dagger. What a splendid object. You're welcome. Right. Let's go ahead and raise some troops where we haven't got them raised right now. Um, is that really all we've got left? 2,000 men in the Trident. Some there as well. These free cities are already doing way more than I thought they would. Giving us a run for our money, really. Okay, let's, let's actually sort out all of this, these, these pop-ups first. We've got to pick an ambition. I guess win the war seems pretty appropriate. And he wants to be landed. I don't really want to land him yet. We'll wait until he starts complaining. Visor and our Justice R. That would do. That should keep those guys on side. Okay. Are they heading over to us? Yeah, they actually are. Well, this is a bit annoying. Okay, that's fine. Sickness and death await us all. Stop pestering me. Get you guys on the boats. We're going to wait for them to dock first. Get on the boats. It's 900 men. They're not going to make a huge amount of difference. Go pick up the troops from Lonely Light as well. 
and doing his job. They've got a lot of men. <laughs> They've got like a genuinely ridiculous amount of men. Okay. I mean, we are taking on what? Seven kingdoms at once? One, two, three, six kingdoms at once? Oh, the case. Oh, God. Um, Has he got any children? Falsy of Quebec? Yeah, I agree. There we go. Right, she'll do. 31,000 men versus 37,000 men. If they take a river crossing, that would be ideal. They're going to die to attrition. We're not. Why don't we split these troops up and then bring them back together when those guys have attrition down long enough for us to be able to... We've won. The Siege of Bravos was all it took. Oh, ho, ho. thank you very much. Right. Should have probably left those troops up in hindsight. Holy shit. Well, that's pretty crazy. Uh, who's not doing anything? You, my priest. Um, let's have you go and proselytize over there, I guess. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So we have four kingdoms now under our empire. Oh, the Reach is, in Reach is independent. So is Dawn as well. But that's just because they are... Um, obviously, they're still our vassal. It's just because of the Mega War syst system. Hiccups, please. So the Reach has 73,000 men. We, after a major war, have 202,000 men. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Is now the time to steal the Reach? Right from under their nose? Dragon Conquest of the Reach? The Iron Throne will probably join against us. If we're quick enough, might not be a problem. Worst case scenario, we surrender it and pay a bunch of gold. I feel like this is worth rolling the dice on. Let's do it. They will surely honour their obligations. Of course they will. I trust them. My, my loyal vassals in Dawn, the Vale, the Trident, and Bravos. I assume they don't really like me very much. 46, they actually don't mind me. If you send him some gold as well, look at that. He's a great... He's a, he's a big fan of us. Thank you. What a great guy. Oh, was it not him we declared war on then? Defeated him. Minus 10. Oh, is that all it is? Just a minus 10. Interesting. Right. What does the King of the Trident think of us? I love to spy 100. What about the Vale, who's kind of in a big rebellion right now, so might not join us either way. Also doesn't really like us that much. Well, let's not worry about that. Vassal management is something for the future when we've actually got, you know, a whole bunch more vassals to deal with. Right, let's do it. Where's our fleets? Where are our retinues? I actually have no idea where they are. 1,7,000 men. I'd assume they're in the capital in that case. Uh, yeah, I mean Prince Silas, I assume, is it? We can't actually... We've actually lost some retinue cap there. I'm not sure how. Right, let's go ahead and raise the boats. We've already done that. Get everybody on the boats. We'll just go ahead and land in High Garden and burn it to the ground. Genuinely. Um... Yeah, this is good. This music is really pumping me up as well. What is this? The Titan of Bravos. That seems appropriate. Let's go, team. Pick an ambition. What do we want, then? Uh, probably win the war. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good idea. I'm, I'm getting deja vu here. We've got more than enough men here. Let's go ahead and bind you guys here. Do you want to make allies with the Dothraki? Or do they just want to marry my niece? Sure, whatever. You can, you can marry my niece. Don't mind too much. Get you guys on the boats. 20,000 men. It's a good start, but it's not as many as I'd like to be actually, you know, in High Garden. So it's a hard province to siege, you know, it's, it's quite a strong holding, so we are going to need more troops than that. Let's get you guys on the boats as well. Now, the other guys that we're sort of leaving behind here, these ones can be sort of our defenders, if you want to look at it like that. The Iron Throne haven't actually joined this war, have they? Shit. Well, that's very lucky. I thought they'd have jumped in immediately. Sure, we'll pay. Let someone pay the ransom. 42,000 men. Awesome. Right. On the boats with you guys. 52,000 men. Where are these other troops that I've supposedly got in that case? I guess that's because of the mega war, isn't it? Of course. So the, the province is split apart. And then it's up to your vassals to sort of do their part. There's 13,000 men there. If we could kill those, that'd be awesome. That'd be a really great start to the war. Talents will be useful here. Thank you, slave. What society are we part of right now? I don't think we're part of any, are we? Oh, part of the alchemist code. Of course, yeah, because magic. Of course. Right. Let's move up and crush this army to start off with. Great start to the war there. Who is leading troops? Wait, this guy? Dragon Rider? Is that our son? Yeah, it is. Prince Silas. Oh, shit. We've actually got a Dragon Rider leading this battle then. Awesome. Please, help me. For the love of God. Excellent. Thank you. He's going to defend the realm. And sure, we'll, we'll hire this guy. I don't mind. Can we use the dragon in the siege, though? We can't because it's not our dragon, I assume. I mean, that would make sense. Your vassals probably wouldn't want you commanding them to, uh, you know, potentially get their dragons maimed or things like that. Uh, give them funds? No, no, no. We need these for backups. Kill Sir Henry on the fact. Well, let's cancel that plot. Let's cancel that plot for now. But he got a fort holding him. No, we could definitely assault this down. Simon wants to duel Lord Reaver Nesta. Whatever. Sure. 
And do I want to impress the love I feel for my wife? Sure. There is a chance, you know, they could they could uh, get down to business and he could die of a heart attack. That would be very useful because I don't really want to play as this infirm guy anymore. I'd like to actually have some dragons when we go to war. Let's assault it down. Ouch. Ouch. What a mistake that was. Well, um, lessons have been learnt. Lives have been lost. That was a lot of men I just threw away there. Holy shit. Well, it's done now. Excellent. Don't bother me. Oh, shit. That, that army disappeared. Okay, we're going to have to go fight them on the shield then. We don't really want to be doing this because we're going to be island hopping at this stage. 100% war score. Hang on. How do we do that? Victory of Smithville? Bit Thornton Hall? <laughs> Holy shit. Look at me. I'm the Iron Throne now. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. Um... Holy shit, we've picked up so much land. We've got the entirety of the south of Westeros, the entirety of the center of Westeros. All we need is the north, the Westerlands, and the Kingston now, and we've done it. Oh, oh, and the Stormlands, I guess, but that's sort of more or less one province at this stage. Wow. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we won that war so easily, but there we go. See our house rule the Iron Throne? I feel like that's appropriate right now. That's definitely going to be our goal. Why not try and bring about magic to the world? Now, if we grant our son another dragon egg, can he hatch it? I'm pretty sure you can't if you've already got a dragon. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that. 43. Now, what's his health? Gives a health minus one. We kind of want to get this guy killed, don't we? So if we switch focus over to rulership or business, getting stressed, depressed, maybe have him kill himself, something along those lines, might be the best idea. Dragon Conquest of the Neck? Free land. I'll take it. The Iron Isles is a state of war. Tell me, how do civil wars work? We already know that. I'm going to assume they'll just surrender immediately. Surely. There we go. My king, I see no point to the conflict with you and your dragons. I hereby surrender and swear my fealty forthwith. Baron Marsh, he is wise. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. Some gold for you for being so, um, honestly, so cooperative. I'm also going to send him book Triumphs and Defeats, which, you know, is a bit shady, but I'm sure he'll enjoy it either way. A bit more opinion with him for free, basically. Your bannerman, Sir Arian Braystone, is currently under threat from external enemies. Now, he is fighting the Iron Throne, actually. Do we want to fight the Iron Throne for our vassal? I mean, I can say yes and then not actually help out. Um, oh, right. It's not the Iron Throne. It's this guy. Well, why do we care about that? Is that really a big deal? I guess he's a vassal of the Iron Throne. Do we want to go ahead and just try and Dragon Conquest all these other provinces? Uh, we actually can't because we don't share a border with them. That's pretty annoying. Some of these provinces would be quite nice to grab up. Um, potentially take the whole of Beyond the Wall. Seeing as the wildlings are basically everywhere at this stage, it doesn't really matter where we go for, beyond the wall or before it. Castle Black is actually still run by wildlings? Maybe we should restore the Night's Watch. What do we need for that? We need to, we need to be Andal. We need to be Dornishman. And our realm needs to neighbor the wall. I see, right. Let's not worry about that then. Wow, I I'm not really sure where to go next. We've grabbed so much stuff. Let's let some time tick. See how this war plays out here. I kind of like to start moving up into the north a bit more, but unfortunately we've got to wait for the Iron Throne to sort of fall apart a little bit. Why don't we focus on that then? Why do we make the Iron Throne collapse? Who's next in line? This guy? Unfruitful? Rude? Greedy? Ambitious? Seems a bit useless. Can we kill off the king of the Iron Throne? He's 53, so he might not be long for this world anyway. 59. Oh, plus he's got cancer and stressed. This guy may just die off, you know. Yeah, that's that's Christmas music. So I just wanted to kind of do an overview here, because it's the first time all of the uh, the kingdoms have come back together since the sort of major mega war with Bravos. Bravos still isn't back under us for some reason. I guess they're at war or something like that. Anyway, this is what we're looking at right now. We actually control most of Westeros at this stage. So the only thing the Iron Throne have are the the Westlands, parts of the Vale, the Stormlands, obviously the uh, the King's Land there, King's Landing things like that, and uh, the North. But even then, not much of the north. They haven't got Winterfell. You know, they're missing the whole of Stony Shore. We have a lot of the north, like the Neck and uh, Flint's Finger, things like that. I think we are the most powerful power here now. Surely. 280,000 men. He's got 215,000 men. If we went to a mega war with our dragons and obviously our superior uh, commanding from myself. Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to brag. I am better than the AI, though. I'm, I'm not good at wars, but I am better at the AI, and that's all that matters. I think we could win it. I think we can take the whole thing, and obviously we've got Bravos backing us as well. They're in the middle of a war, which is why they are not actually against, uh, they're not back under the, uh, 
the Iron Isles right now. We could carry on the conquest over in... Why don't we head back over there and, and take out, say, Pentos or something like that next? Yeah, let's do that. Dragon Conquest of Pentos. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Our realm becomes so small when we do that. Tell me, how do civil wars work? Obviously, you know, obligations, all of that useless thing. Right, excellent. Good, good, good. Spymaster, pr preferably whoever's good at this stage, to be honest with you. I don't really mind too much. Gurmund Popeye. How's Popeye still chugging on there? They might be one of the only survivor houses, uh, survivor subscriber houses that have been around this long. How's Valen here? Doing pretty well as well. Uh, I've got anyone else I recognize just off the top of my head. Not that I can see. Obviously, as I said before, I'm not going to go out of my way to keep subscriber houses alive and things like that. Otherwise, I'm going to play favorites and sort of, it will distract a lot of the series. But it's really interesting which houses are surviving. Oh, wow. She just surrendered immediately. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, we've got Pentos. Tyrosh? What do we think about Tyrosh? I quite like Tyrosh. I feel like it would go nice above the mantelpiece. How does Civil Wars work? Excellent. They're going to join us as well. Are these guys going to surrender? No, they've actually got allies joining them. So chances are, no, they're not. That's a bit annoying. Thank God for this Christmas view, though. That's going to keep me... Uh, that, that's our battle cry now. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. All right, let's go. Let's get our troops on the boats. Probably just want to move them to somewhere generic right now, just so we can go ahead and pick up these troops from Lone Light. Things like that. Holding a funeral. Why am I holding a funeral? Well, I suppose it's a free feast, isn't it? Or it's at least uh, an excuse to have a feast. Keep our vassals sort of on our side a little bit. Let's get you guys over to the boats as well. Is that really all the troops we've got left? Oh, that's not ideal. Merge those. Get you guys on there. And then we'll move over to Lonely Light. Pick up the troops from here. Corin Hangmire. Hangmire was another house, wasn't it? A, a subscriber house. A petitioner by the name of Silas Smith requests remedy, stating that he's been dispossessed of his lands by armed thugs and that parts of his domain have been sold. He claims the men came in force, plowed his land, claiming it to be part of their liberty. He claims to now have nothing. I'll send some men to restore order and peace. Absolutely. There we go. We had a funeral, but a nice feast as well. Keep our vassals happy. Let's get you guys on the boat. <laughs> I'm just getting nothing but war this episode. Uh, where are you going? Can we have you over here? Right, there we go. Let's get these guys up. Merge our troops. Spend highly to get Princess Rodera. Who's this? My daughter? It actually is. Okay, sure. I'll spend money on my daughter. I feel like that's fair enough. Okay, how many men have we actually managed to muster here? Because this is pretty much all we can get these days. 46,000 men versus... Tyrosh seems pretty good. Where is their capital these days? It is actually in Tyrosh, which is good for us because it's an island. Makes it easy for us to attack and very hard for them to reinforce. Because the AI, for some reason, doesn't like leaving troops behind to defend their stuff. Now, again, they might send troops to the Iron Isles, at which point we'd have to hire some mercenaries. Actually, we can't really afford it. Where's all my gold gone these days? We definitely have a trade master, don't we? Yeah, we do have a trade master. Why don't we get our trade master then to focus on profit? Can we get you to grant a dragon egg? No, focus on profit. And uh, can I have some money off of you? He doesn't like it when I give when I ask for money off of him. Okay, well, we'll wait until we actually know that we need it, rather than upsetting my trade master. Well, this should be a fairly straightforward siege, then, because they're not going to boat bomb into troops that are in their capital. Okay, can we assault this? We can assault it as well. Excellent, right. Let's do it, then. Sweet, good work. Send them to the dungeon. It's 51%. Jesus, this city is well fortified. Oh, wait, this is the Bleeding Tower. Right, that explains a lot. But essentially, a huge castle in Tyrosh. Wow, that's going to take us a long time to see. There might be better, more worthy war goals elsewhere in that case. Um, let's leave Tyrosh then. Do we want to boat bomb 40,000 to 14,000? Well, they, they left before we could. Well, we'll take out little Tyrosh as well. Seeing as it's still owned by their... Uh, by the king. So we value here, 64%. Yeah, I don't really want to wait around for the next five years sieging down the Bleeding Tower. So we might as well go for some of the actual Tyroshi mainland here. We can actually salt these down pretty easily as well. Oh, what's that? A betrothal between the Dothraki? Sure. Do that one. And assault this one down. 79%. Have we had a major battle yet? We haven't. Right. Let's go hunt down some troops to have a major battle with. Are they in Pike? They are. They're trying to siege down Pike. Good luck with that. We'll wait until we've got a comfortable amount of war score. And then we will uh, we'll move back to Pike and sort of kill their troops there. So one of you suggested that maybe reading on arcane histories and knowledge might give us the immortality event chain. We can't get it yet because we don't have any magic, but we might as well give a good start, I think. He's taking his last breath. He's dead. He's surrendering. We surrender under these terms. We only got to 90%. Awesome. Fine by me. Thank you. Okay, so we've got Tyrosh, Pentos. 
Bravos. I guess Mir is next. Holy shit. Reappointing the old council, definitely. There's much more to learn. Master of the Arcane and Learning Plus One. Thank you very much. Uh, sure, I'll release people from prison. Whatever. Mir next. What do we think? I think Mir might be a great one. Mir and Lise. Lise is not supposed to be there. I don't know why it is. Uh, we'll take out Mir. I don't know how much of Essos we really want to take. Obviously, if we get rebellions and things, it's going to be really hard to deal with, seeing as they're halfway across the known world at this stage. Damn. We've achieved so much this episode. Like, genuinely buffed ourselves up a lot. So we've got a long way to, before we get the Iron Throne. I'm, I'm going to grab my air, this dragon egg, just in case he can hatch it. Maybe the AI can hatch multiple dragon eggs. I'm not sure. We'll give it a go, at least. King of the Iron Throne, King Preston. So it's the guy we looked at before. Unfruitful, ambitious, rude. He's no king of mine. He's got Valerian Steel. What has he got? Artifacts worth stealing? I wouldn't mind some artifacts. Guardian? Oh, right. That's that's artifact uh, armor they've made called Guardian. Lots and lots of trade guild stuff. Okay, fair enough. We could always go ahead and raid that and actually, you know, use their goods for ourselves. My king, we've received word from Astapol that a new batch of Unsullied. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. I should make an offer to purchase them. We need a sentry that's only 100 men. I'd like a thousand, ideally. Uh, I did just reward one of my vassals. So, we are in the negative gold right now. Maybe if we had more, we'd be able to do that. Or maybe they've only trained a sentry. I'm not sure. Either way, I've got to make sure I... Uh, I should probably make sure I don't accidentally put those troops down. And we've got ourselves Pink Newt. A personal guard. He's not that good, all things considered. Anyway, we know this is retinue and... Uh, wait, is this just retinue? Oh my god, so, so the the Unsullied actually don't count as retinue troops. They're just event spawn troops, I assume. Yeah, 100 event spawn troops, shit. So I could put those down accidentally, I'd never know why I should put them down now then, because honestly, honestly, I'm I'm never going to remember them. Oh, actually, you know what, we can't put them down. No retinue troops will be disbanded, no special event troops will be disbanded. You can't disband Unsullied. Okay, fair enough, good. That's fine by me. I was going to say, if I'm accidentally going to put them down, I might as well just get rid of them now and never bother with the Unsullied again. I accept your offer. Thank you. Right, let's wait for our debt to go back. Now, what we want to do then is try and play as our next character at this stage. So we can actually start doing proper Dragon Conquest, not just threatening it. So what we really want to do is we want to switch over to the business focus. Get stressed, depressed, something like that. And, uh, you know, off ourselves, really. Stop being an infirm character at the age of 45 would be ideal. Long before our endeavor to rebuild began, Croyan had a thriving hut. Where? A thriving harbor crammed with ships from all over the world. Over many years, the harbor has fallen into ruin. Silt and debris in the water cause it to be unusable. But sorry? The Palace of Love? What the... Where is this place? The Palace of Love? I actually don't know where this is. Okay, wh why do we have that? I wonder who conquered that on our behalf and then died. Either way, I guess we've got some, some free land there. A uh, crayon. Sure, why not? It's fine by me. The servants of the God Empress are always welcome in my realm. Do we want to invite a moon singer to our court? I'm going to say no. No, absolutely not. Alright, now I guess we'll wait till we get stressed. Well, that was a lot quicker and a lot more severe than I thought. Uh, we got the trait depressed instead. Life has lost its luster in this character. I'm despaired. Off with my life. I agree. Um, no longer will we be playing as the infirm one-handed king of the Dragon of the Iron Isles, but instead we'll take over as Prince Silas, who we'll rename because he's not very good. Uh, commit suicide. Let's do that. Uh, no, okay, we'll spend on it. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, no, no, not now. We're busy. Yeah, the talents will be useful, I'm sure. Are we actually, we're actually gonna do that? No, I think because we're in firm, we have to actually rely on a, a vassal or a courtier or something to do it for us. So, I don't know whether we have to wait and approach our, our piggies eating more people. Seems appropriate. I don't know if we have to wait for that to fire. Huh. Oh, sweet. We got Merchant Harbor. Galleys plus 25%. That's a crazy amount of galleys, then. 139. Well, that'll do. It's not It's not actually as much as I thought, but it's, it's fine. We might even be waiting. Pike also gets a great library. Absolutely fine by me. Um, Do you want to smother me with a pillow or something? Because I'd really like to play as our next character. You know what? Rather than just waiting to die, we'll leave it there. And then next episode... I will, uh, I'll, I'll let some time tick until this character actually dies either naturally or until somebody agrees to smother us dead. And then we'll play from there. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all the patrons. I'm not doing shoutouts yet. I'm waiting for the last few people to uh, trickle in so that I can get a big list compiled of people who do and don't want shoutouts. And then I'll start doing it probably, probably starting next week. I'll pick that up. 
Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.